Um, I'm really proud to be an American just like him and I want to give back and serve my country as well. There's a lot of things going on with females in the Marine Corps, making history for the first time and I want to be a part of that. It's a lot of Amazing. All the pain, all the hard work, the preparation was absolutely worth it. All those moments um, I wanted to give up on myself. I remembered all the words that my captain from my OSO inspired me to think about. And um, I'm just so incredibly happy to be here with my family and my friends and my OSO thinking that uh, all the preparation and blood, sweat and tears was worth it and paid off. What advice do you have for future candidates? Definitely train with your OSO physically. My OSO did an incredible job of getting me physically fit to where I didn't struggle physically at OCS. And uh, However, I did struggle academically. And that wasn't my OSO. That was my own work to do, my own job. And I did, uh, I did some of it, but not all of it. So I would definitely recommend uh, studying. Um, each OSO is providing candidates with some recommendations on what to study so definitely utilize your time and put in the hours and the work to have everything uh, predominantly memorized and well known before getting here because everyone here is very well equipped and ready to go and it's a big competition right thank you good job thank you sir When I was in sixth grade uh, and 9-11 happened, my sixth grade teacher was a Marine and just seeing uh, his reaction to the whole situation, it, 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 really, it really kind of, uh, you know, struck a chord with me and that's, that's, that's stuck with me. I... What if OCS doesn't work out? Is that even in your mind at all? Uh, no, it's not. Second Lieutenant Yokoyama, how do you feel? I feel phenomenal. Um, this is one of the proudest moments uh, of my life. Uh, very, very, very proud to uh, be part of the Marine Corps, part of the Officer Corps, and uh, be part of the, the long line of, of tradition and, uh, and history, and just be part of the, the Marine Corps. I'm very, very proud. And what advice do you have for future candidates? Listen to your OSOs, train with them physically, um, put in the work in the PT field, uh, also put in the work in, in the library, make sure you study, get uh, mentally prepared as well. Um, and I guess another thing is, is you, will, you will feel like you, you want to quit at some points and don't, don't quit. Time doesn't stop, so just keep going and you'll get through it. Awesome. Congratulations, Second Lieutenant. Thank you, sir.